just having some breakfast, a little coffee. So I'm using the little apple mount that I just got. It works pretty good actually. Yeah, Apple started making mounts for GoPro. It's like an apple mount. <laughs> Thought it would work soon. In like five minutes. Six minutes. <laughs> I didn't even get dressed yet. Yeah, we're we're not really morning people. Uh uh. So if something needs to happen in the morning, it's always like last second we get it done. Mm hmm Unless we're going on vacation. Yeah. So it's been about a week since I've been on a run and I don't want to wait any longer. Today's nice, no rain. A little chilly, but it's not too bad. So let's get started. So I would say running long distance or taking your bike for a long distance ride is is a physical you know ability that you need to have but it's mostly like a mental thing because you could easily just psych yourself out and quit early i think it's more of a mental ability in believing yourself that you can you know go after it and get to that five mile ten mile whatever mile you're trying to achieve it's not only with like you know running or bike riding it's with everything in life. If you can believe it, you can do it. All right, it's back to the front. I've recently needed to update the Wi-Fi password on both my Hero 3 Plus and Hero 3 Black cameras. That process is extremely annoying because you have to go to the website, see which what the serial number is on the camera, type it out, Put your name, put your last name, put your email address, and then you get permission to update the Wi-Fi passwords on both of these cameras. I don't like that process. It takes way too long. So I made it easier for you guys and myself. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with the Hero 3. So if you downloaded the file from the description, you would get this update.zip file. So I'm gonna right click and export everything in there to this location and you'll get a settings and an update file. So we're gonna go into the settings and just open it using Notepad. And you'll notice you'll get an SSID name here, GoPro Wi-Fi name, and the password I have written here is what is your password? So in the SSID section, in the quotes, type in the SSID that you want it to be. So I'm gonna make mine GoPro Hero 3 and over here for the password, I'm just gonna make it Jeremy1234. So that's all you need to do, file, save. So that's all saved. So now on the left here, I have my uh, SD card that I'm gonna use for my GoPro and that's the way we're gonna upload, update the Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and copy the settings and update files, not the folder, just the two files. I'm gonna do a control C and I'm gonna do a control V to my SD card right on the root. Yes. Okay, now it's saved to the SD card, so now I'm gonna put it into the camera. So now all you do is turn it on and it should update. So I'm gonna turn on the Wi-Fi here on the GoPro. I'm gonna open up the GoPro app now and let's see if this worked. All right, there we go, connect to camera. And let's get started. We got a Hero 3 Plus or older. Continue, we already did that. Searching for cameras. GoPro Hero 3, enter the password. Jeremy, one, two, three, four. Sweet, it worked. All right, so now let me show you how to do it on the Hero 3 Plus. It's the same process, but a little bit different. So I've got this update folder for the Hero 3 Plus, and I'm just gonna do extract all this time using the Windows built-in uh, zipped folders extractors extractor. So extract to the same location. Now we got a folder here. Um, so what we want to do is go in there and then we'll have the same thing. So we got to update the SSID or and the password. And I'm just going to file and save. 
Now before, if you remember, we copied these two and then put it to the uh, SD card's root, but we're gonna do it a little different this time. We're gonna copy the update folder. So right click, copy, and then paste that to the root. So you need that update folder. Make sure you don't copy the zip file, but the actual folder itself. So let's go plug that into the camera. So I've got the SD card in there already. I'm gonna power it on and it should update the Wi-Fi settings. All right, cool. All right, so now we can connect to my camera and we'll get started. Hero 3 Plus or older, continue. Wi-Fi is already on. That's the one I wanna to connect to. And we'll just enter the password, Jeremy, one, two, three, four. All right, cool, it works. All right, let's go to the Hero 4 now. So what you wanna do is press and hold the Wi-Fi button on the side. Wait till it, wait till the Wi-Fi turns on and then hit the mode button. So here you'll see an option to reset the Wi-Fi settings. So hit the mode button to go down to reset and hit reset. Now your Wi-Fi password is cleared. So let's turn the Wi-Fi right back on and you'll see here that you get the option to uh, switch over to GoPro app. So hit GoPro app. So once it says connect to your camera, just hit that and get started. GoPro Hero 4, continue, continue. Hit that one. So just enter the pin number that's displayed on the front of the screen. So 756-357. Pair my camera. Now just name your SSID, GoPro Hero 4. And I'm gonna make my password, Jeremy1234. Continue. Okay, great. see what the camera is sitting on right now yeah look at that that was funny. that's good vodka pasta he put a half a cup of vodka in here mm -hmm. it's like taking a shot of vodka yeah actually not just any old vodka what kind of vodka did you use uh, what you call the goose <laughs> <laughs> great goose <laughs> okay, all right bye good night thank okay, you bye, bye. 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 Close the garage. Feels warmer out than it was before. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about these like little tutorials in these vlogs. Uh, I know a few people said they were helpful and I should continue doing them. Uh, so that's definitely a plus. I'm happy you guys are finding them helpful. In today's vlog, I did the, what did I do? Oh yeah, the GoPro Wi-Fi password. That was so annoying for me. So I think that will definitely help you guys. I don't know how I stopped that, but I didn't get hit by my, <laughs> I almost got hit in the face by a little beach ball. Um, so I think that that little, you know, download that you guys get from the description, remember that in the description, you get the little download so that you can, uh, you know, switch up your passwords in case you forget them or, uh, whatever you want to do. I just hope it makes it easier, makes your life easier because I know it makes my life easier because I already have it downloaded and I can just go in there and just switch it up instead of going to the website and adding the serial number and all that garbage. <sighs> So, like I said, I hope you guys found today's video enjoyable, helpful, and whatever else you could think of, and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.